am at a favorite place. I am in Lake Oswego at the Rogers and Clematis Garden with our favorite, Linda Bueller. <laughs> Hi. So Linda, you know, we are here and seeing pretty things all the time, but now everything is pretty much dormant, but you have a special tour for us this time. Right. So people always ask us, what should I be doing with my clematis this time of year? And we talk about pruning and shaping, but something else you can do, and especially with the herbaceous perennial varieties that don't climb, is you could be dividing your plants this time of year. Of course. <laughs> so sometimes you'll go look at them and they will have already started to push apart. And so it's like a hosta or a daylily. You're looking for multiple growth points just at the, at the point where it comes out of the ground. And sometimes it's pretty obvious. And sometimes, like with Skylark here, mm -hmm. it may not be quite so obvious. But we're going to go ahead and move this around out of the way. Okay and move the inventory tag right. out of the way and we'll save the biggest piece to come back here uh, but you can see we've got multiple points mm -hmm. where it's coming up out of the ground so we want to get a fair amount of roots even though it probably won't end up keeping them but that's kind of a rule for any kind of division. You always want a lot of roots to start with right. and then you see what's going on underground. Right. And you want to go all the way around yeah. and loosen up the soil ball and the root ball. And then we have one of our nice trug buckets okay. for hauling plant. All right. And, and really, it, the plant itself is only a couple inches. It's just breaking dormancy. So right. this is the right time of year. There you go. All right. All right. We'll haul it to our work table. All right. And so we're going to go over there, and then you'll actually do the division there. Yeah. All right. Now, Linda, we're in a different part of the garden here. Where are we? We're out at the sales terrace, oh. but I wanted to be able to do this away from the road because uh, it's loud over there. It is a little bit. Um, and so now I have one of my favorite garden tools. <laughs> okay. This is a chopstick from your basic Awajamaya or any, you right. know. Pretty high tech there. Pretty high tech, but it's fabulous for knocking the soil off the root ball and teasing the roots apart so we can start to see what we have. And I also have a big bucket of water here so that when I get a lot of soil off, I actually will bathe it. So that by the time I'm actually dividing, there will be hardly any soil on here so that I can see what I'm doing and I'm seeing exactly where the crowns are. But here's one little crown sure. that's already loosening up. And do you want to do it in big clumps so that you have something to show this season? Uh-oh, we got another one though. There yes. you go. I always have more chopsticks. That was an old one. So about the clumps, do you want to divide into big clumps so that you right. have a substantial plant? Right. So we'll save the biggest piece to go back in the ground where we got it from. Okay. And we're, we're working on a plant. This is Skylark. It's a selection of Clematis integrifolia, and it's a lighter blue than is typical, and it has a beautiful flower form. When it's fully open, the sepals spread out, and they look, they kind twist, twisty. and they flip, and they look like a bird's wing. And it's so different, these bell shape versus the big flat yeah. flatter flowers of Clematis, so right. it's really a special one. But you know, this time of year, you can also divide your large flowered hybrids. Okay. If you look at them in the ground, and it's sort of like, you know, if you see new mm -hmm. shoots coming up, um, you can cut them back and lift them and divide them just like this. It is so nice because you want to share it, you want to put right. one in another part of the garden. Exactly. So, and it's really healthy for the plant to divide too. Right, right. Gets that old, old wood out of there. Okay, I'm going to give this a little bath. Okay. Okay, so you really took so much of the soil away and I see you kind of wiggling the, the right. crown. So what are you doing? Um, it's starting to separate all by itself. Oh. I do have my root saw out here, mm -hmm. but I don't think I'm going to need it because it's really breaking apart very nicely all by itself. And that's usually a little bit less trauma. It's more natural to break right. where the breaks are. Right. And if it's breaking, if the old crown under there is breaking. There you go. Yeah. So I think I'm going to be able to take these apart too. That is good. 
just manhandle it a little bit or woman handle it as the case may be. And then how do you want to replant these? Then? So we'll add a little more planting compost to the hole. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put a little bit of our organic rose and flower food in there. And then uh, just, you know, replant. With these, we like to use a gravel mulch over the top to keep the water from pooling up around the crown. You and, and then I do need to ask you, it's like this is a really special weekend because you're open again for the we season. We are. Our opening day is Friday. And this year we are open way more hours oh, wonderful. for uh, shopping than we have been before. So it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the weekend days, Saturday and Sunday, wow. that we're open. Ah. The only days we're closed are Tuesday and Thursday. Ah. And it's all of those days, it's 10 until 2. Oh, that's wonderful. You can order online and pay online. If there's something that you really want, we don't hold plants for you unless you've paid for it online. Perfect. Um, but otherwise, come and browse. You know, COVID restrictions apply. We want you, when you're on the sales terrace, to be wearing a mask. Of course. And our volunteers will be wearing masks. And yeah come visit. Yeah, definitely. You know, any time of the year, it's beautiful out here. It is a dormant season, but there's still so much to see. Please go to gardentime.tv. We'll click over their website. Linda's in charge of putting all the pretty pictures on their website so you can come out and see what's blooming once we get into the spring. Thanks so much, Linda. Thank you.